Colonel, uh, just to set things uh, into context, how many websites are we talking about? Um, as of this time, we have one verified, but uh, as we said, it's already taken down. We have the militarymedia.com. One verified that, uh, that there's a Chinese firm behind it, you mean? Uh, yes, but it's already taken down. It's taken down as of this time. And this website was uh, recruiting personnel? Yes, um, they are allegedly uh, recruiting active and retired individuals to perform various roles, uh, um, taking some information for the military. Mm. Okay, uh, can you clarify, is this a straight up higher, uh, and is it, was it clear to, let's say, the retired Filipino Army or AFP personnel uh, exactly what they will be doing or may parang may pagkaskam ba ito? Uh, exactly what was the job posting for? The, the group actually uh, they're actually seeking for time uh, military consultants. So they wish to engage in various tasks. Uh, this includes uh, about writing military reports uh, about military life um, and addressing different military topics. Okay, so very broad. Is it illegal um, for a retired uh, army personnel or army official uh, to take on jobs like this? Just for the benefit of uh, maybe people not in the service who have no idea. Um, there's nothing uh, illegal about it because pag, pag wala na po sila sa service, no, there's actually no more control from the military on their end. Mm -hmm. We just are banking on them to be practicing uh, discretion in these things. No? But technically, they're already civilians after uh, retiring from the military. Uh, Colonel, and so, yet, of course, they joined the, the reserve force. Colonel, uh, meron po ba tayong idea sa scale uh, ng tao na na-reach na nitong mga website na ito? Uh, and also, um, are, are you saying that these are firms posing as U.S. companies and they are recruiting retired Filipino military personnel as military consultants? Did I get that correct? Uh, yes, but yung skill ng reach nila, no? We can only verify as of this time those that have been able to post comments in the Facebook page. But of course, uh, it would be another another area to verify those who have been contacting contacting them by a private message. Kasi internal na to within Facebook. Okay, and paano yung nalaman, Colonel, no, to begin with, how did it come to your attention na may ganitong nagyayari pala? Um, meron po tayong reports, no, the, uh, from the, coming from outside sources, na meron ng mga ganitong sites na seemingly uh, operating about this. So, um, we have been coordinating with different agencies about this, mm -hmm. and of course, we're trying to verify nga all of these reports. Mga ilang retired personnel po kaya yung involved or yung nagsabi po sa inyo? Um, as, as I said mo po ma'am, no, ang na-verify pa lang natin, those who have been uh, posting comments, so yun kasing outrightly na pwede natin ma-verify first hand. Ah, wala po tayong number. But those wala who have, o oh, wala tayong number kasi nga, muram din mga who contacted, contacted them via private message. Hmm. So hindi po natin yung uh, outrightly ma-check.